All right, today on this 2004 Mini Cooper, we're going to install part number BX1303 from Blue Ox. Okay, first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the bumper cover. We'll go ahead and open up the hood and remove two torque screws. Now we'll go ahead and move to the fender well. We'll go ahead and turn the wheels to give us a little more working room for fasteners. There will be two plastic fasteners with Phillip heads that we'll remove. And just above that, there'll be two bolts that we have to remove. The one will be facing uh, vertical, and one will be facing horizontal, basically in the same pocket. We're done for our driver's side. Let's go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. All right, now we'll get underneath the vehicle. Okay, there'll be three hex head bolts underneath that we'll remove. And outside of those three hex head screws will be two more Phillips head screws that we need to remove. At this point, it may be a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help hold the bumper cover while I disconnect the lights. We'll go ahead and set the bumper cover aside for now. We can go ahead and test fit the base plate. Now on the driver's side, it should fit fine. On the passenger side, you'll see that the base plate will interfere with the bumper bracket. So we're gonna hold the a base plate in place. We'll go ahead and mark what we need to clear out so we can install the base plate. Now you should have to only do this on the passenger side. Before we make our cut, we'll put a piece of plywood behind it to help protect the radiator and condenser that are very close by. We'll make one horizontal cut and then one vertical cut. Okay, now we'll go ahead and remove the nuts on the bolts that were used to position the base plate. With that hardware removed, We'll go ahead and install the base plate on the existing fasteners. Now we'll also use some Loctite on the threads to secure it. We'll put it into place and reinstall the original nuts. Once all the nuts are installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down and then torque them down as specified in the instructions. <laughs> Okay, our base plate's installed. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add a breakaway switch to the bumper structure. Now we'll go ahead and make a series of test fits. What we're gonna do is take the bumper cover, put it back into place, line it in the center as best as possible, and then mark out first for a breakaway switch. Then with a rotary tool, we'll go ahead and cut out a space for it. We'll go ahead and put the bumper cover back into place, and we'll mark out for the other pieces of the base plate that extends past and through the grill. Now this will take a few tries. We'll trim it and then test fit it and then trim it again as needed. Alright, at this point we'll go ahead and install the safety cables. Now these safety cables need to be routed around a cross member of a frame and then back towards the base plate. We'll use a quick link to connect the two together. We're done for driver's side. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process over on the passenger side. When we route these cables, you want to make sure you stay away from anything that's hot or moving, like suspension components. Once we get the bumper cover to fit back into place, we'll go ahead and reattach the electrical connections and all the hardware, starting from the top and working way down to the bottom. That, our install is complete. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the tabs will work with the base plate. They fit into the base plate, then rotate it until the latch fits into the groove. Then it's locked into place. To remove the tab, we'll pull on the ring to release the latch and then untwist it. At this point, our vehicle is ready for our setup for our tow bar. And with that, that'll finish it for our install part number BX1303 from Blue Ox on our 2004 Mini Cooper.